Greetings everybody. I am Shujat Ali from Medco's Lectures by Shujat and today we are going to talk about pediatrics and in it we are going to talk about gastroesophageal reflux disease. So focus on this word gastroesophageal reflux. We have to broke this word into parts means gastroesophageal reflux. It is basically the passage of gastric content into the esophagus. So we say it as it is gastroesophageal reflux. If this passage have some abnormality, we say it as gastroesophageal reflux disease, which is basically effortless spitting to the vomiting, which ultimately leads to the vomiting. But this effortless spitting is normal until 8 to 12 months. But this gastroesophageal reflex need to be treated because it can lead to the severe symptoms such as poor growth, pain and breathing difficulties. Pain basically due to the histamine and in the same way breathing difficulties and uh, poor growth is going to be occur in that due to the gastroesophageal reflex disease. Children with cystic fibrosis, cystic fibrosis is basically an ability, inability to develop mucus. Mucus is unable to form in case of cystic fibrosis. Hiatal hernia is two forms, sliding and esophageal. So in hiatal hernia, stomach and esophagus, they slide a bit and change their shape. So we say hernia developed, developmental handicap in which the brain is uh, tumor developed and uh, oxygen level to the brain is decreased and repair transesophageal fistula if we have these symptoms so we have an increase in risk of forming a gastroesophageal reflex disease in case of children pathophysiology is basically we say we often see that in case of children there is nothing in solid diet there is only a milk so liquid diet and child often uh, lie supine position and uh, short esophagus because esophagus is also very short in the same way stomach is also short so if there is an over liquid diet means we have uh, gave him more than the requirement so stomach will fill out and in the same way effortless spitting will be occur so these are the pathophysiological symptoms supine position short esophagus small stomach and uh, immature lower esophageal sphincter in uh, children's the esophageal sphincters the lower esophageal sphincter is immaturely developed so due to that from stomach back flow will occur and uh, he often uh, used to the effortless spitting Growth and development talking about when a child, a child start uh, develop means in 8 to 12 months stomach start uh, developing maturing and uh, he often used to sit in upright position and lower esophageal sphincter also start maturing a bit. Talking about the difference between GER and GERD gastroesophageal reflex and gastroesophageal reflex disease. So in case of gastroesophageal reflex there is no evidence weight loss there is no respiratory symptom there is no sign of esophagitis means inflammation of esophagus there is no neuroesophageal behavior while in case of gastroesophageal reflex disease weight loss is prominent respiratory system has symptoms like apnea which is basically breath holding capacity in which person able to hold breath 12, uh, 15 to 20 seconds with bradycardia wheezing Aspiration means entry of food in lungs and recurrent pneumonia means uh, with passage of time pneumonia occur, reoccurrent pneumonia. In the same way signs of esophagitis, dysphagia, difficulty in swelling, lower chest pain, hemato, hematosis means bleeding uh, in vomiting. In the same way neck tightening occur 
and we also say is that neck tightening as sandy first syndrome in case of gastroesophageal reflux so these are basically the symptoms these are that why it why gastroesophageal reflux occurs so that is basically due to the over liquid diet then its requirement child is basically in supine position short esophagus immature stomach development in the same way we have uh, lower esophageal immature and uh, that will ultimately lead less to the gastroesophageal reflux so guys these are our basic uh, discussion on gastroesophageal reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease in pediatrics that how child develop gastroesophageal reflux disease what are the signs and causes and symptoms and uh, this is our basic discussion on these and difference between gastroesophageal reflux and gastroesophageal reflux disease hope you all understand it don't forget subscribe medcos lectures by shujaat thank you so much